Hello everybody, this is Zigzag Zog coming to you from somewhere in this world, and we've got two out of three of the Infested Havens completed, and this is going to be the last one in that chain, and we're real close to getting there. Uh, what I'm going to do before then, though, is I think I'm going to send the two Helios teams over to Europe for this Phoenix base that will soon uh, be attacked, and they should be able to get there in plenty of time. So let's just get over here and get that done. That's the Holy Smokes and the Stelios heading over to Europe. A little European vacation here for them, <laughs> if you want to call it that. And then we're going to take the stray that's over here. And I'm thinking, uh, let's jog the stray down here. It's only a team of seven. I do prefer a team of eight for these missions. But since I don't have anything else for her to do in the meantime other than maybe eventually battle the Abaddon. But let's come on down here to this lair in the meantime. And so now all our ships are on the move once again. And let's see about getting to this next mission. Now, the only other thing I wanted to do that I was thinking of is in manufacturing, I want to build a few more goo boots. Uh, they won't be ready for the infested haven, but I do want to get a few more of these ready for the team. I'm thinking six more will work just fine. Okay, there we go. I think that should be six, right? Yep. Okay, let's get the clock moving and uh, get ourselves an infested haven going. Our first ship has made it still daytime, which really I'm happy about. That means all three are going to be done in the daytime. Love it. Research complete. Okay, so we finished the Acheron research. That's the good news. The next thing we're going to do before I forget, though, and so we don't risk losing the mutagens, is we're going to harvest this thing now that we're done with it. <laughs> Throw it out with the trash. We're done with you. The sad thing is I don't have these beautiful captures to take a look at. I especially am already missing the Scylla to take a gander at. All right, let's get this last ship here. Everybody else should be on the move, on their way. And ooh, the Abaddon is it getting close. I wish, I really wish, once we did the infested haven here and we disrupt the behemoth, that the Abaddon would just turn around and leave too. But that's just not the way it works. So we'll just have to deal with things. All right, infested haven is on the menu right now. And we have two ships to be able to take out. Uh, unfortunately, we can't take <laughs> we can't take all twelve. We can only take eight. So let's see if we can figure out a good eight. And on these two different ships, there's like three heavies. I probably don't need all three. Uh, we have one, two, three, three snipers. I probably probably can go two snipers, two heavies, two assaults. And then do we have any specialty? Yeah, well, then we'll go Gary the Dollar and Duke Butterball. And we'll have a, a good mix of specialties along with us. So Gary the Dollar, you're staying in there. Then we got to choose two heavies to go also on this. Uh, let's see, Papillon, what do you have available for us? We have a rocket there. It's not a bad thing to do a rocket at least. And we now know that a Devastator can punch through a wall, so we don't have to change there. Let's look at you, Aramex. You also have a rocket. Let's see what Andrei da has down below. Do you have, do you have a destiny? Oh, yes, you do. So, Andrei, you're already level seven. I think the other two aren't. So I'm actually going to take the destiny away from you. And we're going to give it to somebody else. Uh, I'm going to try and remember to give it back to you. Actually, we have one in, in construction right now. So you'll be able to get one back uh, by the time you go out on another mission. And we're going to see about giving it to one of our heavies up here. Who can best carry it is the question. Let's find out. Ramex, do you have the weight limit that you can carry well if you carried it you wouldn't be able to have any backup ammo for it not and we did run out before and if you carried it papillon you would be able to carry backup ammo for it so let's do it that way you're going to lose the fury there and you are going to pick up the destiny with backup 
In fact, what else would we want to use for you? There's nothing else really. And the weight on this is just one, but the, the odds of us using more than two are really low. So we're just going to throw in a shock grenade just because you can carry it and we'll deal with it that way. Okay, now let's go see the last of the, the rounding out of the team. Belladonna, we're going to bring you uh, with your new armor, fully armored out, no more independent armor left on you, so your aim should have improved for us. We're also then, I guess, Smoothie, you are also, even though you're a cross class, you're still a sniper. There's a couple snipers. Uh, then we're going to look at Hermon, you're level 7. Do we have any less than level 7 assaults? Shane Marine Grant Vanton, you're about the only one that fits that bill. Soren Black, you're level 7, and Hermon... Heisenberg von Herza. Let's just go see what weapons you guys are outfitted with. So you have the Chaos Shotgun, and Soren, what do you have? Aha. Uh -huh. You have Living Armor. So you you got probably more protection. So Hermann, this particular time, we're going to give you a little rest. And uh, just because your armor is a little better, Soren, and you're both level 7, uh, that's going to be the tiebreaker for me. So I'm going to take one more look through everybody that's going and make sure there's no SP to spend. Make sure there's no weight or, uh, yeah, we're going to give you a little extra boom blast, Will Papillon. Hermon, sorry about that. Aramex, we're going to give you, actually, I'm going to give you a pop of strength. Ooh, yeah, I'm just going to keep your weighted down by one extra just because we can and i am going to switch you since you're going from the deceptor to a hell cannon just so we have two things to boom through the wall i don't have to worry about which heavy moves forward and we can just do that there we go gary the dollar snail i definitely need to stock you up with uh, some ammo and we also spider drones i know i'm going to use a lot you have the ability to shoot out three so that's uh we'll do one more of those and you know i kind of want to give you a med kit just in case we need it and as far as what we're going to spend for you no we're not going to go into the pool even though it is only one we're going to keep it like that mark the hat you're not going smoothie you are and we definitely need to get you outfitted. And by outfitted, one of those items is this. Now you have a good sniper rifle. You have nice sniper rifle. And we're going to get you extra ammo that way. And we are going to give you extra ammo that way. And I think we're probably in good shape without doing anything else. Other than we're going to build another med kit. In fact, we'll build two, so one's in the in the queue. Or down in the store. And let's move on. We have Steve Penine. I don't think we're taking you on this one, bud. Sorry about that. Oof. Sniper. Sniper, sniper. Well, Belladonna's gone. She's not level 7. Yeah, I'm not taking any level 7 snipers. So, uh, unfortunately, you're the odd man out for this particular mission, Steve. So hang in there. We'll get you out again. And... Duke Butterball. We have one laser turret, and that's about all we have. So I think we're just going to leave it at that for now. We're going to give you a little extra ammo that way because we can. And technically, you can heal yourself. <laughs> Shane Marine Grant Vanson, are you one of the assaults going out? Yes, you are. It's you and Soren Black. So you're my last two to take a look at. Good weaponry there. Uh, do we have any grenades that we can give you? No, we're going to go extra ammo here, and we will just throw in that extra grenade. And then finally, Sarin Black. We don't need extra ammo <laughs> on any of those, and we don't have any more grenades to pass out. So we'll just leave it at that. And it uh, looks like we're ready to go. All items on this battlefield will be automatically recovered. Let's see if we have what it takes, and we can make this third infested haven the charm and get them all knocked out therefore knock a, knock back to betty by the behemoth all right 
Unlike the last two infested havens, hopefully this is not some kind of an omen, we see things right off the bat where I think we had to move to see some things last time. Or, uh, no, I think we did see some things. No, we didn't see things till we climbed up on the roof the last time. Now, uh, once again, this is the trench situation where it's behind us. We have to get over to this building over here. And we have this globular thing over here blocking our path where we want to go over here. So we, we've we seen this map before, hopefully. And, and isn't it, didn't we have a sniper up here last time too that we had to deal with? I don't know. You know, they all start blending together at, at some point. But we're going to see if we can regain this new Jericho sniper for the team over here. And I think you, Belladonna may have a shot or a good try at it let's just make Eyes sure peeled. you have a potential shot Oof. well you know the loudspeakers are a little bit in the way but we're gonna give it a go with quick aim you know i'd rather take more than one shot but it looks like i'm gonna step to the side to give us a better shot and we're only gonna take one i don't even have to use quick aim this way and it's a pretty dang good chance. It's now, well, better than 50-50. <laughs> we'll leave it at that. Wow, Ooh. We, we, we're, we're killing the sniper that we wanted for our own, unfortunately, with that shot, Belladonna. <laughs> I guess there's something about him you didn't like. <laughs> we're going to come over now and try you, Smoothie. See if you can do it a little better for us. Either that, well, one one way one way or the other is going to be better because this this guy won't shoot at us anymore, <laughs> and uh, he will have a chance to shoot for us. No, he won't. He's going to bleed out, so we will not be sniped from over there. Now we have a heavy on this side. We also have an Acheron on this side. So this is where some of the tougher guys are. Miss Sentinel, well, you know, we didn't get to it last time. It looks like we just might not get to it again this time because I think our focus is going to be over here on this side of the map once again. And fortunately, we have Boom Blasters available. Uh, the only thing we're missing is, say, a Frenzy Priest that could allow us to set up a little quicker and better. Let's see. Kind of leaning towards this. Uh, Gary... I'm thinking uh, if we run you, how far do I want to run you to get some things out there? And I'm thinking right over here. And if we're lucky, we can shoot some spider drones over there. Yes, we can. The only thing I'm going to do is I I'm not going to do it r right away. I'm going to keep you there knowing we can put them out. I'm going to probably do some boom blasts first. Then I also want to see about getting someone up to, to take out the turret on the armadillo that we also recently just noticed so let's do it that way shane marine grunt vanson if i dash you we can get you up here probably for a shot over against the gun on the armadillo so let, let's see about taking that out hmm now we're going to have, that guy's not going to be a threat. You know, there's no gun threats, at least that we see yet, over on this side. So let's run you over to the corner here and try seeing if we can uh, shoot out the gun that way. I'm not guaranteed having this ladder here that I can get to the edge the way I want. So let's, let's, let's bring no you over here. Weekend. And we do see, oh wow, we have vision in there already. We, we know where the corruption node is. Where are we seeing... We can see through windows, even though these windows are, are closed. Somehow, I guess we can see through there somehow. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna argue. We see the corruption node. I'm gonna bring you here so we can step back if necessary. Moving now. Let's do this. Targeting. And we are coming over here, and we're gonna try to do the first hurt on the hailstorm that we have. And I guess we'll shoot this way, so any missing bullets maybe hit the Acheron in the back. All right, we're Moving gonna pull now. back in case we don't end up, and in case we end up not having enough firepower to take out that gun. Let's let's try you and dashing you over. We're gonna do a double dash to get up to the roof, and we can get to the railing, so we're gonna take it. Pushing on. 
We're going to take our heavy hitting gun and Ready try to, to finish this thing off. And we did it. So that's one less threat. And we still have plenty of threats out there. But now I'm feeling a little better about some boom blast from you, Papillon. Well, you know, Ready. I'm thinking better about a boom blast from you, Aramex, because you have a rocket to follow it up. Whereas Papillon uh, won't be able to use his destiny. That way we can, we can reposition Papillon so he can use his destiny and uh, then be ready to boom blast next time for us. So, Ramex, start the boom blast fun. And I guess, you know, I'm going to drop one here first. There's nothing, oh, this pole. So, yeah, we're going to come here to try and take that Minefragger off the heavy first. And we didn't do that. <laughs> I guess we have to drop it in front of the guy. Doing it. Problem is, I'm not confident. Uh, well, let's try it here. Don't drift it, Ramex. Okay, uh, this time we took care of the Minefragger. Now the rocket is going to be a present for the Acheron to start stripping it of some of its armor. Oh no! <laughs> I hope I didn't yell too loud, but uh, ha ha! I, did, I thought we were going to the side that wouldn't make it hit the pole. Obviously, I was wrong. And what did we lose? We didn't lose anything. We just damaged ourselves. So, so, so no, no major, <laughs> no major boo boos. <laughs> Let's get up here. With oh, we lost. You know what we did? It blew away the floor here and everything also, and it knocked away the ladder. The only good thing is, Aramex, if I want you to get up there, and I think I do for the Acheron. He's too far. I don't think he would bombardier us to start, I hope, because I kind of want to laser the Acheron. So uh, we're going to jump you up there. get out our wonderful destiny and we are going to look at the head of the Acheron Steel and uh, therefore no funny business as far as reinforcements will happen while we're waiting to kill this guy so that's what I wanted to accomplish now we have to worry about turrets with you Duke and if do you have are you the thrower you're not a thrower yet so we're not going to throw. We're just going to reposition, I guess. Hmm. I guess uh, I, I'm not feeling, since we took care of this sniper who's going to die very shortly, I'm not feeling the threats over here. So I'm just going to get you positioned uh, for t potential turret replacement next turn, Duke. We're going to bring you over here. Moving in. And we'll call that a day. Smoothie. We're just going to separate you way. from Belladonna. And Gary, now we're going to have you shoot out the spider Let's drones and try and do some distraction over here. All right. The Myrmidon got alerted. He's aware of them. Uh, let's hope they work. They're magic. A lot of Grenadier Arthrons joining the battle here. Mm. And he did. Oh, okay. Oh. He didn't shoot him at us. That's good. I was going to say, oh, he's going to shoot. Oh, I was, I was going to say before the armadillo drove by. Oh, he's going to shoot us on the roof and drop us through. And the Acheron, what the heck is he doing? What the heck did he do? I'm not even sure. Well, 
Well, he had three bites, and there go the spider drones. That Myrmidon is acid. Okay, we have another acid Myrmidon. All right. You, unfortunately, don't have an arm. If you want to be usable by us, you need to fly over here. Of course, that's going to eliminate being able to get out turrets, and we're going to have other threats coming towards us soon, but we are going to try and fix your limbs to help us out. It's just in time so you can get recaptured by a Mindfragger. Duke, let's see if we can save him to our team by repairing that disabled body part. All right, he's back on the team. Of course, he's moved far enough that he can't use it this turn, but he's back on the team. Now the question is, Duke, can you see, you can't really see this thing, unfortunately. We just kind of know it's there, and there's not much we can do about it. Let's hope there are folks that can do something about it. In fact, I wonder, Boom Blast-wise, hmm, Papillon, I'm, I'm just going to keep you there, and we're going to see if we can, if you're close enough to pound the Acheron for us. Let's find Aiming. out. You know, there's a lot of enemies that are going to be able to move against us right now. Uh, that looks like a pretty decent shot for us, so let's give it a go. That was good damage. Uh, then we also get to follow up with a Destiny. And I can. Uh, I was wondering if I could see uh, the Mind Fragger, and apparently we cannot. So we will not be going for anything on this side. Uh, we'll turn around and go on this side to, to our threats coming up. This is Acid Myrmidon. This is an Acid Myrmidon. So the, all the Myrmidon, I think there's three Myrmidons out in the field somewhere. There's the other one. They're all Acid. So let's, let's see if we can't hurt this one over here for starters. Ah, we only got the wing. I was hoping we'd get the body. Now, Soren, I was kind of thinking you might. I don't think you have a have. Yeah, you don't have sight on this close one. You can't see it. So we're gonna have to try and come up with an answer uh, for the Myrmidons over here. The other thing is these guys over here. Hmm. Now we could come over here and. Give a give a good PDW go for the mind fragger, but then we're gonna have to deal with this guy. I'm gonna try the PDW, so no turrets are going out, unfortunately. Uh, we're gonna try the PDW on the mind fragger. I'm hoping enough hit, and it's gonna be pretty dang close because we only date and and yes, good, barely. We just did our job. Thank you, Duke Butterball Becker. Now, I might try to launch a grenade over here to get him on our side because I don't have any more answers on this side. I'm going to take that back. I don't know if we can get to the right angle over on this side, but we're going to try to. This movie, we're going to bring you over here. Whoops. The cameraman is going to get terminated one of these days. We're going to come over here and we're going to try to shoot off a mind fragger with you, Smoovy. Let's see if you can do it for us. Good job. Now, Ready. what have we got left? So at least this side is, I feel a little safer again all of a sudden. We got to refocus back over here. Uh, you're not going to have a chance, Belladonna. Well, Unfortunately, you can't see him without moving, so that's going to limit us to a single shot on the Acheron, uh, but we'll take it. And I think we'll aim in. Well, there's there's no really super weak spot. I want 100%. If I'm going to take out the leg, that's a pretty close to 100%, so we're going to try it. 
There we go. We got some more bleeding going. And then a Sauron. I'm kind of leaning towards having some shots go over this way. Let's do it this way. Let's take a shot. Preparing to fire. See if we can't finish what we started here. And then we're going to come over and see if we can't finish what has been started over here. We're going to come pretty dang close. Bleeding only 10, so he's not going to bleed out. And I don't know if I really have another... Well, we, we're going to have you, Aramex. We're going to have... Uh, so I'm, I'm leaning towards running you around the corner over here in dashing fashion. And seeing if we can, with this Fire weapon, attack. take out the body. Oh, heck no. We need something a little harder hitting. So we'll try this. And we took out the torso. So mission accomplished there. And uh, this guy could still fly towards us. I think I'm going to... Well, I think we're just going to stay behind the bench here is what we're going to do. Heading out. Not super confident about that one what now but it's what we got and not really a lot of shooters but we're going to step you into this cover for whatever it's worth you're still bleeding so uh, you're not out of the woods yet and i cannot boom blast with you so this this is what we're going to try we got the mask off here so i guess we're just going to bomb out in this direction I don't know if we can reach these without boom blast. So we're going to go straight ahead. How bad is it? I think I don't have to worry about you. Oh, yes, I do. Oh, so close. Oh, so close. So uh, let's get our rocket going then. And finish this guy off. There we go. He is down, and uh, we picked up will points, and they lost five will points each. So that's good. Hopefully some of these Arthrons, well, yeah, they're, they're starting to get low. So if we can start managing a few more deaths, that'll be good. Uh, we are going to reload. And we're going to shoot out another pack of spider drones because they really did help us with distracting them last time and do that and uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and just reload Sweet. instead of move <laughs> and that's what I was worried about he did not get distracted in the least by our spider drone so we took hurt. Well, that poor heavy just, 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 well, is he going to die before I can get to him? I don't know. going at us. Papillon got hit hard. Fortunately, since they've left them alone, we have some spider drones that can deal out some retribution. Oh, well, we used to. Well, there goes the will hit. <laughs> we, we tried hard to save this guy. Well, I mean, we really tried hard to save this guy. Uh, we're going to try and keep this new Jericho Assault alive, however. <laughs> See if we can do any better. Now, he's full of acid, so we, we got to be careful about that. Uh, I'm thinking, let's just blow our first spider drone. I think if we do it right around here, we'll pick up all three of these guys. And that's a good old-fashioned take that. Feels good. Now, Papillon, we're definitely got to get you healed back up, so we're going to use the med kit first before anything. 
focus, focus. We don't need another accidental heavy going down on us. Uh, let's uh, then take a look. You're only going to have a destiny shot, I think. So let's see who your destiny shot might be able to see. Or can you see anyone from there? Oh, you can see this guy. All right. Two out of three. Down. Now we can see this one over here. And we are going to shoot this one over here. Enemy killed. And we can't see the next one. However, we do have somebody who should be able to see the next one, and that's you over here. In fact, we're just going to keep you right there, Shane Marine Grum Vanson. Ready to fire. See if you can finish it with conventional weapons. Uh oh. He was hiding the gun, and I didn't think about it. We're just trying to get everybody injured so everybody feels like a team. <laughs> Jeez, that was a poor excuse for, and my mouse did, had a piece of hair caught in it, so, you know, that happens sometimes. Let's get over here and see if you have a shot on anyone out there, and you do not. So I was hoping we might might have a clear path for a shot here. It looks like uh, that'll give our snipers something to take care of for us. We have this guy way in the back. I'm not going to worry about him yet. We have this thing nearby, which we can focus on. And then we also should have, this is who I want to target. So Belladonna, how much will do you have left? Ten, we're, we're, we're gonna have you, Belladonna, focus on that guy. Not a great shot, but it's good enough. And we took out his arm, and that should be the arm that had the machine gun. He still has a grenade launcher. And I don't know, because we really only could see that arm. I don't know if we're going to have the ability to take him out with our second shot, but we're going to try. Kind of hard to see a super clearly into the mist. And if we don't have the shot that I want over here, then... Yeah, it's really not, because that's air. That's really not the shot I want. So I think what we may try with you is a long range this shot. And that sounded like a long range miss is what it sounded like, because usually we hear the Mindfragger squish a little when we hit it. So that leaves you now. And hopefully your angle gives us a slightly better shot here, Smoothie. We're going to use the quick aim. Well, we only have one, so we're not going to use the quick aim. And we're just going to step you forward, get you way. a tiny bit closer, hopefully improve the angle, and take the shot. We have other options. Hmm. That's just a different arm. So I guess uh, we're either shooting one arm or the other. Let's go. Not thrilling. Now we have to worry about the Myrmidon. And this is what I'm thinking. You're close range here. It's yet another turn that we do not get out. Ooh, I don't even think four PDW shots are gonna take out that torso from you. Hmm. Well, let's think about this. New Jericho, can you dash? Absolutely not. <laughs> I'm about to say, what do we rescue you for? <laughs> Let's get you up here. That's good to get everybody some will back. And let's see if you can weaken down this thing, maybe. Well, I don't know if that'll help, but we're going to hope. Because now we're going to see if the PDW shots have a chance take out that torso yeah not really looking good but hopefully if uh, we've shredded enough armor question is if my last shot could potentially take him out are you the only one left 
or do we have Aramex? We have Aramex that can help us out. So we're, 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 we can take one more shot and then back off. And now we want to get out of the blast zone. So I'm going to, if there is such a thing as cover to get you away from the bl blast zone. Well, there's no cover, but we're going to get you away from the blast zone. And then we're going to take you, Aramex. And I can't really get a shot shot from you. Uh, what we could do is blast it with a rocket. Well, we have boom blast. Let's just do the boom blast. Let's see now. Blow the sucker up. There. We don't have to follow up because his torso is out. He's going to bleed out on his own somewhere. Hopefully he just doesn't move next to us. Now, what we can do with our next grenade is try to finish the job we couldn't finish back here. And that's gone. And that means uh, some more. Uh, the, the, the rest of us are going to start go. moving up to get in position to start blasting through to the corruption node. So that, that's our, that's our next move. Ready. And this guy is down below. Well, I can't get through on this side. That's crazy. That's absolutely crazy. So I guess we're going to come running around. You're still hidden. And except we have this guy that might be able, we might get too close to. That's just frustrating the heck out of me that I can't move through. I have to move all the way around and probably get sighted by this guy. But... The only person that could shoot at us right now is way off in the distance, so we're going to just have to take that chance because we need to start getting everybody in position for the final push. Okay, he's in the mist, and we've lost track of him. Looks like some things have hatched around the corruption node now we're going to have to deal with. Yeah, just let those Myrmidons go down in the trench and explode down there. I'm happy with that. All right, let's now get ourselves moving a bit. I can come up here with you, Sauron, and you have all your will at the moment. I'm going to dash you here to deal with one of these guys. No time to lose. Whoops, we got a misfire at 10%. Well, let's see if we can blast with this thing, because uh, I'm not interested. Oh, we can't, because we moved and misfired. So, oh well, doggone it. We'll just hide over here. Let's see who we can get to help us out over in this direction. Do we have anybody with line of sight on those guys? Absolutely not. Well, we're going to bring you over here. We know we got a, an assault over here that's going to be working toward us, but I got to get, we got to get our team swung around here. Kind of spread out, and we need to, to, to start massing up for our shots that we're going to need to take. Now, I do have you, Gary the Dollar, and you are still hidden. That's the good news. In my sights. Let's wait for him to open up. Right on. And we only hit the torso, but you know, open up, open wide. Ah, Gary, Gary, Gary. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, we're going to bring you over here, Shane. Okay. One, at least, is down. And uh, there's another one, but he's well hidden. So uh, we're going to play the game of getting you out here. I'm trying to think of where... We almost got to blow this thing away first. So maybe we just take your grenade and see about Let's see now. blowing this globule thing away and see if we can do that. 
Well, that that wasn't very explosive, now was it? Whew. Well, we're just gonna slide you over. Smoothie, we're potentially gonna be set up here. We're gonna move you behind this crouching cover here. And what we're gonna do is uh, overwatch, or you do not, do you have the quick overwatch, you, you do. We're gonna kind of set it wide for that mind fragger. We're a little uh, in rough shape uh, for having enough shots against the mind fragger. Let's rock. And I, I would hate to have him latch on to somebody, but he just might get away with it. Uh, Belladonna Hawkmoon, we're just dashing you also forward. Unfortunately, can't get you forward and cover. So we're just gonna have to deal with it. Your health is okay. On the double. And Aramex, I'm jumping you over. So we have a bunch of options to deal with this Mindfragger when he attaches onto somebody. Doing it. We might as well reload. There's no, there's, yeah, there's folks. Oh man, you're getting targeted. Papillon is getting hard, hard hit. Yeah. Now Ramex turn. No. No. Someone's getting latched onto. And they know the heavies are what we have to shoot through the wall. Oh no, there was a second one. Not good timing, guys. Not good timing. Okay. We do have some ways to take care of this. And one of those ways is to get you right front and center. That means I'm going to have to have something else. And this is an acid guy who's going to explode. So getting you front and center. Holy smokers. There's going to be an explosion that we can't avoid. Uh, well, hopefully what you can do is take out his torso so he doesn't explode on us. So that we're, we're, we're going for the mind fraggers here, first of all. Except I just realized we, okay, the reload is going to be free. So that's good. Let's blast them. Ramex, welcome back. Let's reload. Alright, we now have everybody back. Soren, feeling a little better now? I think so. So what we got to do is take out a torso without making him explode. And you have just the weapon to hopefully be able to do that for us. That's what I'm counting on at least. Oh. Okay, you have just the weapon to be able to do that with zero malfunction on this one. Oof. Now maybe we can go more precise. And we can take out the torso Ooh, without killing it, I hope. And guess what? We didn't take out the freaking torso. <laughs> Man. Oh, you guys are killing me. You guys are killing me. What are we doing? Papillon, do you even have another med kit? No. Well, we have the walking well, med kit over here. Do. Let's fix you right up. Thank you. Butterball for getting his health back because we may we may be taking another hit over here for all we know as a matter of fact Maybe what we just do Is this And 
we, we, can, we can see the guy now. And unfortunately, that did not blow the thing off his head. I was kind of hoping it would. Let's see if we can see it. Do we have a direct line? And we do. He's back to our side, and if we're lucky, he's not standing in the mist, and he won't panic because of being in the mist. It's hard to tell what's going to happen there. Now, we got a problem here, and we're going to see if we can deal with the problem this way. I, I don't think we have any more shooters that we have to worry about, per se. So, Smoothie, come over here. Rolling. Let's see if we can do little enough damage and try to deal with things this way uh, you do have some will basically we just don't need him to explode on us oh now his torso's out and he's frozen but he's bleeding and what's his health Okay, we, we can get away in the time it's going to take him to explode. <laughs> but he's going to explode when he dies. So there you go. Now let's get some more, shot, some more folks moved on over. Hmm. I guess we'll, we'll do it step by step. Uh, we're going to have this guy to worry about potentially uh, unless of course you belladonna you have two quick aims we'll see if you're able to help us out 240 well if we go right in on the spitterhead there's a chance we can take him down Focus. Oof. Well, if we take out the torso, that's extra bleeding. And I think he's going to bleed out, so we don't have to worry about him. Yes. So we're still squeaking by, guys. We're still squeaking by. Uh, we're going to take that uh, overwatch and just kind of go into the mist in case something pops out at us. And then... Uh, the other thing we're going to do, if you have enough, no, we don't have enough actions now, so we'll get over here in case we have a chance to get a turret down. Okay, we got worms coming at us. We got to hurry up and punch that hole through that wall is what we've got to do. No, oh, no, another one out there. Papillon, you have to be the most targeted individual on this mission so far. All right. This is our time to move out of the way. Unfortunately, we have to move because he's going to explode. That's, our move. that's that's the bad news, which means we are not going to be able to. And ammo-wise, did we have we have a rocket though? So let's move away from this thing and shoot a rocket over here. Let's see now. Try and deal with this globule growth over here and get a hole in that wall. Well, that is one stubborn growth. So it looks like we may have to refocus onto this portion of the wall to blast through. But then it means standing in the mist to get a shot. I am really disappointed because we've seen this stuff break down in prior missions, like from an, just an Acheron running through it and just blasting and charging through it. And yet we can't explode this worth a darn. That's freaking me out and has me somewhat concerned. Let's get over here and do a number on this thing here. And how, who, what, where, how shall we do it? 
Heading out. There we go. Now let's get the the rest of us out of the way of this explosion. And I'm thinking, can a group of spider drones have the power to blow this away? I guess we'll find out next turn. Grasping at some kind of straws here. Now, yeah, there's no angle through the window that exists there to see the, the corruption node. Not that we're aware of. At least... Had it malfunction once. Ready to engage. Can we circle it around? I'm just trying to think of taking any kind of shots I can. That's the miss sentinel, so we want to keep swinging around. This is what I would like to just take some shots on and see if we can shred. I guess nothing's gonna help us here. We're 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 in trouble getting through this wall the way this thing's been going so far. And uh, Duke, I think it's in our best interest to get you moved out of the way. Let's do this. And there's no way. There's just let's just back people off, not to get too close. So we're so we're out of the the blast zone here is clear so now it's just a matter of getting getting folks forward and get ready for the big booms coming up There's some things that could be coming around the corner uh, let's try to prepare for those I don't know that mind fragger can get out through those windows somehow but let's Overwatch over here and Belladonna you can join the rest of the team since nothing is coming up behind us that we're aware of Wait, do we have a reload on a rocket? No We're gonna hope a hell cannon can knock that thing out. I don't know. I'm having my doubts all of a sudden. And the longer we take, the more enemies they can reinforce. So I, I'm not thrilled about that. Since mine fraggers abound, we're going to put out the Overwatch. He was able to come out the window, even though we couldn't uh, shoot through the window, as far as I can tell. Okay, is that going to hurt any of us? Are any of us too close? What kind of Myrmidon is this one? A regular one! We don't have to worry about an explosion. How about that? And uh, you can see the Minefragger here. Let's take the first shot. I'm going to see about having somebody else heal you if necessary. Because you have a good shot to take these two things out. Let's go on the Minefragger. Oh, Smoothie, that was you. I thought I had Nine picked Shane Marie and Grand Vanson. Oh, well. Shane, you can heal yourself. Acquiring targets. All right. Ramex, here's where we uh, take a shot and hope it hurts this or well guess what let's just shoot through the freaking wall right behind it maybe start giving ourselves an angle on that thing and since we've had so much trouble with that itself and it doesn't look like we're through yet or are we no we got a layer gone 
but we are not through yet. So we got things to deal with and we aren't in the blast range here either now. So let's do this. And that thing is still there. Uh, can we come here and do a blast? And can we bring you, say, over here and try a blast? Is anyone in the direction now? Uh, New Jericho makes their buildings a little too solid for my taste. And we're not wearing anything down. We are not wearing anything down. So this building's a little more challenging than the one we've had to face so far. Let's get you moved over here, Papillon. So we got your heavy gun as an option coming up soon. Uh, we're going to continue healing. And then we're going to take you Butterball here right here. Phoenix. And there's not a whole heck of a lot more, <laughs> unfortunately, that we can do while we're sitting here yeah. and, and waiting. So why Here's don't we take plan. New Jericho? What's over there that he's seeing? Uh, what I wanted to do, Mr. New Jericho guy, is uh, shoot the miss. Let's just kill the miss sentinel. And why are we not seeing? What now? Okay. Start wearing that thing down since we have nothing better to shoot at right now. Wait, you can see the guy? Preparing to fire. That window? Who knew? Now, actually, it says we can see him, but we're not getting through that window with that shot. Did you see? It's not really hurting the guy. A little, oh yeah, barely, barely, barely. So we really got to blow some stuff away before we can get in there. So I'm not going to risk any more malfunctions. Ready to roll. Jericho guys move too close. Is he gonna? Nope. We're, we're, we're all stable. We're all in on on, on our two feet. Ramex. Can we finish this wall and get a hole out there? Perhaps. Not an amazing That's hole, it. is it now? Doggone it. This is just not working out I'm the ready. way I had envisioned. Yes. Let's have you step out of the way. Here. We're going to take you, Papillon, Aiming. and try your shot over here. Try and get us an opening. <laughs> and maybe, just maybe... Do we have ourselves an opening at last? Well, we have an opening, but it's not at a very good angle to hit the guy, from what I can tell. So we're going to take it. And do you have a way 
to see him. No, no ammo left on this thing, huh? So you can't move. So we're gonna, we're just gonna step you over. Right there. And then uh, we're just gonna line everybody up for shots, and then move out of the way after our shot. This is a very narrow line that we can shoot through to hit this thing. Shake it, baby. What's our move? You know what we're gonna do? Set that Deploy. turret down. You'll take your shot. And we're all just kind of taking turns. Says we're hitting them, but we're we're not doing damage very fast now, are we? Rolling out. Five by five. There's, it's, it's like we're not getting full damage from this angle, which is driving me crazy. What are we doing? Do you have a line from here? Let's find out. Moving. That seemed like a better hit. Now we're getting somewhere, but we're running out of shots. Let's hope nothing comes in uh, to disrupt our party now. Rolling. Oh no, didn't even I wasn't even thinking about these. Feels like he hit us, did something to us. Uh, let's take the turret first. And not shoot there. And let's hope we can see through the flames to where we need to shoot. Here. While we're all burning, can you please remote control this thing? We are going for the ugliest win ever, or the ugliest last turn ever. And holy smokes. Can we do it? Can we? Can we, I'm, I'm hoping we can remote control and win so we can all blow out each other's flames before we die. And call this a win. My lord. Forgetting about those worms almost cost us. <laughs> Definitely got us injured. <laughs> oh, man. This is one of those missions where I finish it and I go, man. 
I don't want people to see what I just did, but we did it. We got through it and we survived. Once again, nobody laying down on the ground, unable to move forward and play again. So I'll weekly call this a success. And Papillon, look at that, level seven. Sometimes for promotions, it just pays to get hurt. And Papillon was the one that got picked on the most in this battle and look what <laughs> he got promoted. Look at that. So we recovered, uh, that was probably the sniper rifle of the New Jericho guy that died for us. Uh, that's what I'm thinking. Other than that, we got some more supplies. So we're hanging in there supply-wise. Ooh, well, not now. And there we go. Let's give our promotion real quick and pick up the Rage Burst that we covet. And call that a promotion. We're not going to do anything besides that. Uh, what we then need to do, and uh, did I get all, all our ships are flying. We're flying down there. And then uh, what I want to do is I need to get the gift. Yes, the gift over here to get re-equipped. So let's do that real quick. And then uh, we probably... If I wanted to, I could send a Banda's Bane here since the Helios teams will have the invasion here covered uh, just so I can have a full team of eight going against his lair. Uh, that's our next business. We do have this guy disrupted now, 16 out of 16. So we did our job there. Uh, we're going to send Banda's Bane to support the stray with one soldier, preferably someone who wasn't injured in this last mission. <laughs> So, uh, Banda's Bane, can I get over to you? Yes. Let's let's join our let's join our partnership down here in in taking on that lair coming up, and then the, you're not having a an, a an immediate mission. You were coming over here to do some trading. Is there a way or is there a place I could trade? Yeah, we're going to still come here so I can trade some materials for tech because that's where we're hurting the most right now. And other than that, what I'm going to do, since we know we got a, a, a lair probably coming up next time, and uh, if we can get re-equipped, we'll have uh, maybe an air battle. It all depends on how long all this takes. And then we got a base defense coming up. And the behemoth isn't going to be able to roam for very long because we have disrupted the behemoth. So great job, guys. Three in a row infested havens. This one was probably the ugliest, but we got the job done. And, uh, you know, third time's a charm. Well, we needed all, all, all of that charm we could take to get this thing <laughs> successfully completed. Holy smokes. This is Zigzag Zog signing off from somewhere in this world. Thanks so much for watching. And in spite of this mission, I hope you do come back to see us next time.